the realities of doing a van build, right? You're trying to do stuff like this, and you've got Munchie there. Yeah. Five minutes. I got a new bottle. Can I get an egg done? Honestly. Welcome back. Right, first up, we've got the awning rail, which is a three-piece C channel. That's got to go on on the roof. Um, they give me some tape there, but I think I'm going to sick a flex it down and tap it as well on that one. So that's one job done. That's a definite because we need that for the awning for the weekend. Then I've got my gas bottle securing strap. That's got to go in. I've built the gas bottle up yet. Then we've got a table mounting um, piece. I've not even built a table, so hence. That's why I've ordered a new table leg here on this one, and I've got a metal table rail, so that's just going to be stuck on here on the front of that unit. And these, you might be thinking, what the fuck are them? These are little spaces. Uh, one of the lads at work, Tom Challen, TC Engineering, as you call him, he always makes us random little bits and that. And what he's done with these, he's made me 16 spaces, and these are going to go where the seat was. I don't even be able to see it. Ah, oh, yeah, here we go. So these are going to go here where the brackets don't actually meet on that because i've had to raise the seat up because of that so we'll mount 16 of them on get them done he's a good ladder tom challen cheers pal knocks some of your um balance off your e-liquid bottles <laughs> and then that box there on floor that is going to be the swivel base for that front seat so we've got quite a lot of it do really I mean, fucking loads of it do actually what well, date it now we're on 25th of june now camp jam next weekend so well next friday so base i've got today and tomorrow get all these bits done finalize all the little Piss of the bits, what I need for it to do, and then hopefully on the road then for Friday. Fingers crossed. There's not many chance to do it week, so I'm working this week. Keep selfish, aren't they? Yeah, selfish. So we'll get this cracked on. Like I say, it won't be an how to video and all that crap. It'll just be me bodging jobs going through, doing it best I can. Right, so I've just laid these out now to see where I'm running to. I think that front might be a bit too long, to be honest with you. And then going through it back. But look at this. Ford, you dirty bastards. What the fuck is that? Seriously. This is massive. You really could have smoothed that out a little bit better than that. Jesus. It's a massive hump that. So I might do this. Probably. Oh, look at that. I might trim off the rail here. Because to be honest with you, I don't think you're going to need it all the way that far back. And knowing my look, I probably will. But I don't know. I have to trim the rail here. But it's not going to sit nice anyway with that bump. I think we'll trim this bit off here now. See how it, how it looks. See how it fits. If not, chopping it off. Put this plastic back in uh, the sticky pla sticky plastic. Can I say it, Jones? On here, the dirt it gets right. It don't even give you enough for all the all the lot. Stitching steel, not good, pal. Not good. And I'm going to use this as me um, tack just to get these dirt and try and line these little buggers up. Let's see there now. Let's get them joints nice up, tied up, and then what I'll do then I'll tap into these and I'll try to keep the joint solid. I'll pull that end down then when I'm ready. It's not too far off that really. Let's get that back end lined up and touch. Son of a bitch. Thank fuck for that. Right, that's one job done. One on in Merlin. Happy days. Next one. I think we're going to do the table. Just finished that on a bit now and it's just started pissing down as usual. So I'm just going to have a shine in there. I think I'm just going to build that table up now and do some inside stuff. Pretty much all inside, but I need to get that front seat out. Don't think we're doing it in this weather at a minute. I'll wait till it blows over. Every time I do a job, I'll tell you what. It must be Jinx, me, or Chris or something. Just start to build this table up now, so I'll get these mountains on. Table legs on now. Took me a bit work out to get the fucking thing up. I'm going to put up my broad sucker. And then back in here. On that one. So that's that bit done. Now we're going to stick this rail on here. And I've gone for something a bit different because I didn't want the old bastard. Look at that. Uh -oh. Start chopping this bad boy down. No, it's straightforward, is it again, lad? That's rail cut down now. I just use these, you know, my table storage bl um, blocks just for, for a space on it, really. For all that, and then my clamp there. And what I'll do now is just uh, screw that little shit in, and then we're done. We have a little um, tooth there at the bottom here now, so when it when your table joins onto it, it stops your table sliding up and down if you want to. You don't have to mount on that, but it just locks it in place, which is quite a good little thing. One thing I did notice with this rail system was you get this little block, which is a slider block, and what you're supposed to do is screw that to the unit as like a central support. Now bear in mind that's quite weight bearing that anyway. And then your rail slides along that onto that so it locks onto the unit. Obviously because this unit's built up how it's out now, there's no way you're going to slide that rail into it. And to be fair, I think that's got to be strong enough anyway. So the next one now is stick this table on and then I'm going to have to trim that leg down because there's a slight angle on it because it's slightly higher. 
done with the rails mounted on that. <coughs> just left some clearance as well, picking on top. Fucking hell, it's very rough as out me, isn't it? <coughs> um, um, must be only person who gets a cold in summer. How do you get a cold in summer? Honestly, unreal. And no, it's not COVID, I've had a check. Oh, fuck, guys, she's in. We have a table. Get in there. Let's say just have to trim that leg down a bit. Make sure it fits on there, but up it is. Right, next one. So we've got smashed all in. Table's done. Where we're gonna put the table storage. I think we're gonna stick it. Possibly don't but I think it might be tidy on the back of that unit there. Oh, we might rush to the back of the bed. We're not hanging out back of that unit. As you see, the table's too big. So we're gonna go on the back of it, yeah. She's made it to the back seat now, so that's its new home. Let's put these on. What I might do with these is put some little rubbers at the back of them. And if we stop it moving, it's quite solid. Like this one here, I put an angle because of rail mounts too wide apart. Thinking on it, I didn't want to take it out because I don't want screw holes in the bloody table. But that looks bob on that now. Back at chair, out of way, just out of mind, isn't it? Next job mm. gas bottle one, easy one. Probably was that on first. And then we're going to go to this swivel seat. I'm hoping this don't give me any issues, like, but it's me, innit? Every job I do, there's an issue. Oh, and I've got these as well, Tom. Sorry, lad. Always these on in a minute. Give that seat. Pushed over a touch. Tell you what, rattling to his job today. We had a bit of a tropical storm before. Pissed it down it again, as usual. But we'll get in there. Come on, lad. One more day to go. That's it. Just found these in the garage. No idea what they were for. But I'll tell you what, when I'm under, hey, serves a purpose. I think what I'm going to do is mount that. Up on the rear, sort of gas bottles, tight in corner, out of where. And that's another job off the list. Boom, next job on the list. We need to get my head around this now. Swivel base. That's my number. Turn around the so trying to custom, instructions rear. Looks pretty much straightforward, really. Pop um, seats off, luckily. It says here you cut 10mm off rear each slider, which I don't think you'd have to do that, but I'm going to check anyway. I might be wrong, you know what I mean? And then usual fixtures and fittings. Here we go. Happy days, at least they've supplied them. One thing what's done me anyway with a lot of these camper bits, right, is half the stuff they supply, like table rails, you know, the mounting point, you know, for tidying it away and stuff like that, just little bits. They never send the hardware with it. And you know, it's like, I'm rooting to that bloody red tub, mate. It's killing me looking for bloody screws. I've got all sorts of screws all over with it. Suppliers send hardware with your stuff. I know costs are like high and that, but for the sake of a few p for a couple of screws and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Just put it on the price. It just saves a lot of faffing about. Anyway, I'm gonna tackle this now. So they'll go into the seat from the swivel, so that'll have to be opened up. You've got kind of sunk X heads, which will be into the base. <sighs> Looks straightforward, doesn't it? <laughs> See how we get on with this one. Yeah, so plug here. Let me just pick fat things out there. Either side of it, you've got two little plaque clips here. Push them in, and that pops off. There's a little threaded um, screw. You can just pull that off, and that should release it. I don't know if that turns the camera, but that just disconnects your seat down. And then, we'll lift the seat out. See these holes line up. A box of hardware on it. These bad boys to the bottom. I hope they've got no alignment issues. Because you see, yeah, loads of people fitting these and have like loads of alignment issues, you know, with the bloody uh, bolts all line up with the frame. Because I know Ford like the makes of it's slightly screw with. Well, not just Ford, everything really. That's three down. Number four. Well, I'm not going to complain about that. That's probably the first bit done. Fucking sun's out now. It's a bit hot. You can't win this fucking weather. Piss wet through, then you get fucking soaked. I'm not sure what sock settings these are supposed to be at. So we'll set these at FT. I know Challen don't like his FT length, but. We're having FT today, but I want that poking through so I can connect to it. <coughs> Lift your seat up, lad. I'm probably making this look harder than what it is actually, but so for this, I think these go bottom up, one of them, one of them. Right, we'll get big lad toys out for these ones now instead of playing about. Mint. It's not balls knocked on anyway. So front two on now. And then um, back two's on. I've got a back put seat back there, forget it to it. Like, so what I'll do now, I'll tighten the front ones up, tighten the back ones up, and then we'll test it. Well, I'm not going to lie. That was probably the easiest mod, which I thought was going to be a bitch to do. It was basically bolt on, bolt off. I had no issues whatsoever with that. Look. Swivels all round. Dead easy. How good's that? Very good mod. I thought it was all about that. We, uh, they had said trim <coughs> them for the pillars. Don't need to do is put your seat fully backwards or fully forwards or whatever. Just turn it. See it, swivel done. Front of cab. That is an absolute blinder. 
See, the only thing is this this one, because I don't have to trim these off, is because I've lifted my seat up. And when you're back down in front position again, you can just lower this back down. And you're back to normal position again. Right, but it's, it's bottom side up now, aren't I? Not a bad day, to be honest. You've got quite a bit done, considering. Table, back bit, gas bottle, seat. I expected that to take me half a day, to be honest with you. I, won't, I, don't, I didn't know what to expect with that, to be honest with you. But I am well happy with that now. And I think we've just got the seat front to do. But I've got to go down to VW Camp Quicks for that. I believe the guy who, who owns the place, he's had an accident with his leg or something. So he's out of bounds. So that's not going to get done now until we go, until I get back from Camper Jam, I think. I think they're going to Camper Jam, but I don't think they're going to. I need to measure it up and that and get it done proper so it looks tidy. And apart from that, I think we, we're, we're rocking and rolling, pal. I think we're going to get to Camper Jam. I don't think I've got anything else I need to do apart from test the sink. You watch that leak now. Anyway. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to watch this stuff. No doubt there'll be more jobs that go on this van yet. Yeah, I've got diesel eaters and stuff like that that do, so there's quite a bit more content to come on yet. Anyway, if you don't see it, Camper Jam, I'll see you on the next video. See you soon.